back to our cross stitch channel stitching a little uh, we make a lot of floss tubes a lot of cross stitch related content on our channel and we make videos in English and in Spanish we upload two times a week so if you are looking for some cross stitch content then you can definitely come on over and subscribe to our channel and join our little family we are a mother and daughter cross stitch channel and today we're going to be showing you two new kits that we bought and we're going to be showing you two kits that we gifted my mom for her birthday which was on August 11th in two bottoms um, Tanya gave me um, for my birthday too yeah she had so those I'm so happy with this yeah um, she had those patterns in her wish list and I thought it was time to be able to get her. Yeah, but maybe some, maybe two months ago or, or one year ago. Yeah, they've I'm been they've you. been in your wish in your wish list for a while now. Let's not wait any longer and let's get started with the video. All right, let's start with the first kit. This one is from AliExpress. If you haven't bought from AliExpress before a cross stitch kit, you can definitely try with at least one since they are a bit more affordable. So this one is the tea house or the teacups. You can see that it has a lot of different variety of kitchenware that have to do with tea. I might say that some have to do with coffee. It's just so gorgeous and very versatile. We would love to hang this one up in the kitchen. So you're going to notice that this one doesn't have the fabric inside. We actually took the fabric out and tried to dye it here at home, but it didn't work out. But don't worry because we will be showing you a tutorial very soon on how to dye the fabric and there you'll see the fabric that we chose for this one. So as you can see it brings the needles, it brings the flosses, it measures 36 by 47 centimeters and the fabric that came with this one was a 14 count Ada. But once again it's just a beautiful design. So you can see that we chose a fabric for this one since it didn't turn out when we tried to dye it. So we're going to be using this fabric. We got this one at a nearby craft store. This one measures 91 by 73 centimeters, but most likely we won't be using all of this fabric. So again, these are the colors. It, I think it brings a total of 10 colors, but you can definitely tell that there is a theme here. There's a fall theme that autumnal theme with all those brownish and red tones it's gorgeous and the threads or the flosses are a very good quality they're actually not bad so you can keep that in mind if you feel like you want to stitch this project also okay next up is an anki Collinman design this is actually our first design from this uh, house or designer and this is the one that i picked out so in a 14 count Ada, it's estimated that it will measure 13 by 17 inches. But you can see that it's basically the bunny in the bakery. And the baker is behind the counter and he's seeing, and the bunny is seeing all the sweets. You can see it's a beautiful design because even the window, you can see the snow outside and all those sweets and cakes, everything. It's just so gorgeous. I love this design and as soon as I saw it, I knew that I wanted to make it. So I couldn't pass by the opportunity to buy this one. Now I am switching the fabric out that comes with this one. I'm going to be stitching it in a 16 count Ada. Again, very similar to the packaging that you saw before. It, we bought it at the same store. This one is again a 16 count Ada from the brand Artis in collaboration with Swigart and it's in the color Ivory. This one measures 29 by 36 inches. So you can see that this is the fabric that comes with the design. This white one that you see. And I do have to say that I was doubting on using a new fabric for this one. Because I'm not sure if you can tell very well with the camera. But this fabric is actually not that bad. Because we've received a lot of fabrics that come with the kits that are very stiff. No matter how much you try to wash them to make them a little bit softer there's no way to get around it but with this one um it's actually not that bad i will be updating you guys on a future floss tube if i switched out the fabric or not but i was doubting a little bit when we were recording this video so these are all the flosses that it brings you can see that there is a lot of variety in 
this kit and this design there's a lot of variety in the color scheme a lot of blue red tones green there's a little bit of everything and i love that about this design once again it's very gorgeous and i like how compact the design itself is because that way you won't be bored um, especially if you have to stitch a lot of the same color in a big space with this one you won't be very bored stitching it because you will be able to change the colors at least once or twice next up we have the other gift that my mom received for her birthday and we're going to be rewinding in time a little bit this one is actually a dimensions from those earlier collections back in the day and it's in a different type of cross stitch this is a no count cross stitch this one is designed by barbara mox and it's going to measure 12 by 9 inches without a mat and 16 by 13 inches with a mat but you can see it's these two little bunnies and everything about this design is so cute and adorable this one is from the year 1988 so you can see that this is how the flosses come with this design. So, so you are going to organize yourself the floss organizer. That is something you're going to have to do with these type of kits that used to come like this back in the day. You can tell that all the colors are basically pastel colors. It's just so cute. And I can't wait to see if she's going to be stitching this one. Um, she did want this one for her birthday. So maybe in the future she will be stitching this one since it is a different experience in cross stitch. I personally also like these type of cross stitch which are no count cross stitch. I actually really like them. Um, but again, I urge anyone if you want to try that different type of cross stitch that you can definitely do so with at least one project. You've, maybe you try it and you like it and that way you'll be stitching different type of project with your collection. Okay, so next up is a Janlin project, and my mom has actually stitched a Janlin project before. It, it's this one that you see of the snowman that has the welcome sign, and she enjoyed stitching this one very much. So this will be the next project that she has from Janlin. This is also a birthday gift. This one is called Noah's Sampler, and this one is a counted cross stitch. As you can see, it's a beautiful design and it has that classic biblical story. Now, the fabric that comes with this kit is very different from the one that you see in the design. So, in the design, you can see that they basically use, most likely it was like a Lugana fabric and it has a different color. This one is actually an Ada fabric and it has a different color. It has a more strong green color. So I don't know what happened, but either way it'll be fine because it will turn out to be super beautiful also. It also comes with these flosses that are similar to the one that you saw before. So you're basically just going to have to divide the flosses by the colors and just organize them in the floss organizer yourself. This is a design from 1993. But again, it's so gorgeous and very different from the samplers that we have today. So she does want to choose a fabric that goes well with the design because it might uh, lose itself in depending on the fabric that you choose for the background. She actually finished stitching the Pumpkin Knight, which is this one that you see here on the screen. And if you haven't seen that video of her whip updates, feel free to go ahead and watch it. Um, there she shares a little bit more about her experience stitching this design. So again, um, it's very important to choose a fabric that goes um, very well with the design that you're choosing. And then lastly are the two bunnies. So these two bunnies are PDFs that we gifted my mom. You can see that one is the girl bunny and the other is the boy bunny. And they're very like Victorian themed, um, dressed up with very fancy clothing. It's so gorgeous. And she was eyeing these for a while now. So we decided it was time for her to have the PDF that she wanted. So this is a pattern um, that she's going to put in the pattern keeper. And again, we got these from Etsy. And as you can see, that was all for today's video. The kits that we gifted my mom for her birthday are just absolutely gorgeous. And I'm very excited to start the mouse one of the bakery. 
Um, and I think she start that one today. We'll because see. Yeah, yeah, most likely. Yeah. <laughs> and you can leave your guesses down below in the comment section of which kit do you think my mom will start. Uh, we'd love to know your guesses, so let us know down below in the comment section. And yeah, that was all for today's video. If you like our cross stitch channel, you can subscribe and you can join our little floss tube community. And you can also follow us on Instagram. We share a lot of cross stitch content over there. And well, that was all for today's video. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Okay. 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 Okay.